Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th episode of uh, this course and in the last episode we did our wing con, we created doors that open and today we want to uh, use one thing that we made but we have no usage of that thing and it's our health so we created a game but we don't have anything that's gonna uh, take health away so simply what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a trigger box uh, that is gonna act like um, so basically basically the trigger box is gonna go here where is our parkour and if we fall we're gonna take some damage and we're gonna make it today so I will use interfaces so in the last couple episodes we casted a lot I would say and uh, there is no reason to cast but for the start it uh, intended it to be beginner friendly so I didn't want to use that much interfaces but I will show you the better way of doing uh, things instead of casting so sorry we're gonna create a blueprint interface we're gonna call it BPI take damage or extra apply damage we'll open it up and call function apply damage Now that we created it, we can close this. We can go to our uh, game blueprint, player character, and we can uh, go to class settings and implement the apply damage. And here you will see apply damage. So here we can just select implement event. And here we can run the thing to take the damage. Uh, so we can just copy the thing we made we can copy this yes we can copy that so this one we made this uh, to t to apply damage to our character and we will take 20 damage whenever we collide with the trigger box so how are we gonna do that it's pretty simple. We will go to the blueprint actor and we're gonna create folder obstacle. Let's say obstacles, even though they are not fully obstacles. Uh, we will select blueprint class actor and call it BP damage trigger. And I will just create box collision. I will compile and save and if we pull it in the scene we can uh, I will go to unlit mode so I have easier time seeing stuff and we can make it like this here obviously you will scale it depending on your map That's not good, we need more. A little bit more, okay. And then we will just pull it so it goes around our parkour. But we need to take in consideration that if our player jumps here, he can take damage. Uh, so let's, let's uh, set up the trigger. So, uh, here in the damage trigger blueprint, uh, before we should uh, we would cast on event begin play, we would uh, sorry we would cast on the add event add component begin overlap. So we would cast here to our character to apply damage, but here we are just gonna call event event uh, apply damage. Did we call it apply damage in the OG? So yeah, whatever you call this event. You should uh, type it in there, in the damage trigger. And now simply, whenever we collide, uh, when we overlap with this box, we're gonna run this function. And the most importantly, we're gonna run this function without casting. So it makes it really good uh, performance wise. So we'll compile save. And if I go and test, I want to check if there is a bug, if I jump. Okay, I'm not colliding. Okay, perfect. Let's see if I'm jumping and I fail. 
as you can see we take some damage and we take damage again so basically every time every, every time you fall you take damage and that's the whole point so that would mean that you know they cannot do it permanently and if they uh, take too many damage too much damage they will just die but also we need to set up the die widget so our player cannot play after which so you see we can still continue playing even though we don't have health anymore so we're gonna simply do that so how are we gonna set up our death uh, screen I'm gonna show you in a second so here we're gonna go to the game blueprint OG player character and here in our in our blueprint character we're gonna create event any damage oh we already have it okay so event any damage let me see that should uh, work fine uh, that should work okay yes that's that's okay so here we will create a branch and our condition for this branch is gonna be we will get our health and basically we're gonna check if it's less or equal than zero and if it is that means we are basically dead so from the true we're gonna go and we want to create actually boolean as well that we might need for the future for other things if we do so I want to check if it's alive by default alive is gonna be yes because by default our character is gonna be alive uh, so we're gonna set alive and set to not because if it's true that means we are dead we set alive uh, that uh, is not that is false so that means we are dead we get all widgets of the class and here uh, we want to remove the master UI because we're basically dead dead so I want to share only I will create remove from parent and here to continue this we need to create um, you will get error here but that's only because we need to continue this um, we're gonna continue it uh, just give me a second uh, connect this compile you have no error but we need to continue it because I want to create a screen that says basically you're dead so uh, we will do it quickly create user widget vb you're dead that screen and we can add canvas then we can add some blur in the background we can anchor it to full like like this put this to zero and just put blur string to 5 I like it at 5 and then we can put some text and our text uh, is gonna go on canvas panel not on background blur and we're gonna center it make it 0 and this is gonna be 0 5 and we're gonna size it to content we're gonna change color to red because we're dead and then we're gonna put 60 and it's gonna say you died and we can put it up a little bit because we need button and I want my button to say respond so I'm just gonna add the button I'm gonna add text to the button button is gonna be variable and the respond button we're gonna size button to content anchor it to mid and put alignment to 0 0.5 so we have it perfectly we have it perfectly aligned that's gonna be good we can just put to zero we can create bigger font and we can type respawn because we died and respawn when we click respawn we just want to open the same level we need uh, our level name so it's our level one you need to be careful with the 
capitalization here. You need to put uh, capitalized letters correctly. So that's gonna work. So now we need to show this. So from the remove parent, we want to create widget, select class, we create that screen because we died. We get player controller here. And from there, we'll just add to viewport. And we're gonna set show mouse cursor. Oh, we, ne we need to set show mouse cursor from player controller. Gonna do it like this. And from here, we just pull set input UI only. Widget to focus is gonna be our screen widget. Player controller, we can pull it here. And that should be perfect. I will check if everything is okay. Yes, that should be all perfect. So we can go and check it out if it works. And now if you fall, we have our screen that says you died. So that uh, we have done. We can uh, save, make sure to save all. And you have your death screen, you can die. Uh, make sure to check health 200 again. Okay, so now uh, for our game to be done, we need to import simple uh, main menu, which we're gonna do in a second. Uh, let me see if I'm happy with our level. Yep, I think that's gonna be fine. We can end the game, that's perfect, okay. So let's go ahead and create our um, main menu. Create new folder, go to the blueprint class, player controller, call it OG main menu PC. And here we're gonna create a new game mode, base OG main menu GM. And we're gonna also create a new level. It's gonna be called main menu level. Okay. So uh, in the main menu level, we save selected. We want to select game mode override. We want to put it to be main menu game mode, and the player controller needs to be our main menu player controller. So that works perfectly. And now we will go to the uh, UI. And we'll create simple main menu UI. Uh, so we'll go user widget, user blueprint main menu. Actually, I will just create a widget blueprint, put canvas, and uh, put simple button play with the text. And what I want to do is I want to create a smaller episode. So with this episode, I um, I want to finish it here. I just want to center the button on the middle. And um, I want to create new episode that's gonna be focused on the UI uh, main menu so we can spend more time polishing it. So the episode doesn't get too long because we already did the dead screen. So I'm just gonna call display. And we're gonna have this as a variable and on clicked open level our level our level one but we are not gonna display it right now uh, I will go ahead and create instantly a new episode that uh, we're gonna do main menu in so the people can easily see in which episode is what so thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next episode which is going to be out shortly after this.